In this week's episode, the end of the sailing season is finally upon us as we haul out for the winter and store the boat on the hard. Keep watching until the end of the episode for a real-time update, how we're planning to entertain you over the coming weeks and months as we're all spending time at home, and how our sailing plans are being impacted by the current state of the world. Just wake up to this truly, truly awful weather. This is meant to be the middle of summer and it feels like the beginning of winter. August, you get the storms in Biscay and this low pressure system has been, there's been three in a row that have swung in, uh, swung in low, bounced off the Azores high and come up and hit us like little pinballs. And looking at the radar picture this morning, there's a huge, huge band of really heavy rain heading our way in the next hour. Hello. Oh my god, close that hatch. Close that bloody hatch. Uh, it's coming in sideways. That is just it's horrific. Grim. It's grim, isn't it? It's grim. It's a grim Sunday in August. I'm pleased to announce that the weather has improved significantly and uh, we've now had some nice bright and sunny and warm days much more in keeping with the summer weather that we were hoping for but alas that does not mean that we're going sailing it actually means that today is the day that we lift out and we are uh, leaving the boat on the hard for about a month and then we're coming back to her to put her back in the water and she'll spend winter in the water, hopefully with us on board for much of the time. Look, there are, there are many reasons why we didn't go home, why we didn't head back to the UK. Uh, one of them was the weather, the other was the VAT status on our boat um, in, in case of a hard Brexit. For those of you who are um, not familiar with the European problems, um, we paid the tax on our boat, uh, sales tax on boats is 20%, and uh, we lose the tax paid status if we are in the UK on the day of Brexit, and it's a hard Brexit, which is essentially, you know, we, we won't do. So we are staying in the EU until that problem is resolved. We are also um, happy to be here, but when the weather's this good, it is such a shame that we have to lift out. And why do we have to lift out? Because there is the biggest boat show in the world. Um, or it's a, it's a water show, so it's, it's other stuff, so it's jet skis and other bits, here in a month, and they clear the whole marina out. So every, every marina, um, locally is taking the excess boats and they have a few places for people to lift out securely so we're lifting out we could get home and literally we could be home in two days if we like if we literally gunned it now put the foresail on we could yeah. be home in in two and a half three days but there's just so much good stuff to see and we want to show you what all these little islands and the French coast and more of the French life because we're really enjoying it. And let's face facts, if we're enjoying it, you're going to enjoy it. If we're miserable, you're going to find out that we're miserable and you won't enjoy it as much, true? Indeed. Anyway. So, someone said um, on Instagram the other day, like, why can't you just sail during the winter? Like, am I missing something? It's no fun sailing uh, these beautiful islands when A, it's not in season because everything's shut down. There's nothing ashore. There's nothing open. They're very seasonal. And um, two when it's cold and wet and windy, as we discovered only a few weeks ago. It was awful and it was the middle of summer. Mm. So yeah, that's why obviously we are taking the winter off. But we have some really cool plans. So yeah, stay tuned because we've got some really awesome stuff coming up this winter. Anyway. Onward. Onward. For now, we are going to head over to the um, travel lift and haul Ruby Rose out uh, for the next month. Can you keep your eyes out? Just while well, we're talking, there's another boat coming hurtling down here. Plenty of people going out for the day. Beautiful day for a nice sail. I wish we could join them, but alas, we have to go to a boatyard. <laughs> Not much of a consolation prize.
I think it's, you see those three boats in front of us? Yeah. I think it's past there. Okay. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. You've got about three meters, two meters. You've got a lot of room. Try and bring your um, starboard side over a bit. Hold that. I'm gonna jump on the other side of this um pillar. Slow right down, slow right down. That's it. You okay? Yep. Babe, there was a um there's a ramp right here. <laughs> Instead of climbing up the oyster covered ladder. I really don't know what you do without me. I'd be lost my life. Yeah. Uh... Um, they want the boat in backwards. Oh, what? Yeah. <sighs> we did it so well. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll go out and then what you've got to do, just make sure we don't crack this on the way out. Yeah. And then what side are we going to tie up to? Whatever's easiest. It doesn't matter. We're being lifted out centrally. Okay. Probably. Who knows? Let's just work it out. I'll try and get in this way because it's... No, let's just work it out. Right. As long as you've got a midline on the rest, we can do at any time. Yeah, I'd, I've got a midline on the other side. When we come back in, he wants us there, not all the way in. He wants us on this pontoon here. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. right. Okay, well, that's a little bit easier. Yeah, we're off. I'll just push you... I'm just going to push you out a little bit. So we'll, we'll tie up in port, yeah? We've got a stern line. Now we wait. Now we wait. It's kind of strange. It's it's, I don't know, it's, we don't know if we're going to sell the boat, we don't know what we're doing next. Oh, we've got some really good plans for this boat for next season and that's, that cheers, that, you know. Yeah, it um, makes it easier. It does make it easier because if we don't sell the boat, next season will be flaming fantastic. Yeah. And really, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to sailing this next season. Yeah. She's a good boat. Yeah. She's a very good boat. Okay. Yeah. Well, that went fairly smoothly so far. Now they'll just find a place to put us, and uh, that'll be it. I'm pretty impressed with the anti -car. So a big shout out to International Paints for that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so Mike, what, did I get? what is it? Micron, Micron 250, I think. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, the, that's the best anti that's ever done us. So yeah, pretty, pretty impressed. Anyway, they're putting us on a, on a, uh, on a, um, what's it called? In a, in a galvanized frame. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're, we're being cradled. Any luck with finding a ladder? No. And now we can't get on our own boat. And they haven't got a ladder. And they haven't got a ladder. And now if I can't go there, we are going to have to do some fairly nimble gymnastics to get back on the boat. Okay, so I failed to secure our ladder to the boat when we were using it a little while ago, and um, it fell into the water, into the a very murky uh, marina water so um, yes we no longer have our ladder and of course um, the boatyard don't have the ladder for us to use and apparently finding a ladder around these parts is like next to impossible so we're trying to find something that will allow us to get back on the boat because at the moment we can't actually get on the boat <sighs> very annoyed at myself yeah. Hang on, whoa, whoa, stop, 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 stop. You've got something in your shoe that's like digging into my hair. Okay, ready? Yeah.
I made it up. <laughs> it wasn't pretty, but got it done. So they've uh, put the boat on the hard at an angle. Um, but I suppose we can live with it. I think we're just very sensitive to the trim of the boat. Yeah, that's right, we'll get used to it within an hour or two. The uh, Frenchman in the Chandler lent us a ladder. I don't think his wife's over happy about it. <laughs> She's like, what? And then he's like, uh, is that bring it back? I'm gonna lock it. To the th I'm gonna lock it up so that it doesn't go walk about. So we have a ladder now. We have a ladder. Yeah. Until the wife it's, tells us to bring it back. <laughs> And with that, our season was suddenly over. We returned to La Rochelle a few weeks later to put Ruby Rose back in the water and tie her up securely in her winter slip. We usually store the boat in a boatyard over the winter months, but with limited hard storage at La Rochelle and excellent shelter in the marina, we were confident that she'd be safe in the water over winter and we were able to return to her periodically to check in on her between trips to boat shows and other sailing holidays. If you'd like to watch the boat reviews we filmed over winter, please click the link on the screen right now. And while you're at it, we'd appreciate it hugely if you could subscribe to our channel and give this episode a thumbs up. And now onto a real time update to fill you in on our current situation. Well, that was the end of our season and what a fantastic season that was. We yeah. did so much, this thing completely different, you know, took that boat through the French canals, a pretty amazing amazing trip for us and probably yeah. one of the highlights of all our sailing absolutely yep it was an amazing year but real time update obviously we're not on ruby rose we are in london it is the middle of march and the entire world is in a very very strange place at the moment so just to let you know what we're doing we will be back on ruby rose as soon as we can we will head back to france as soon as the the you well, know the borders open the, the borders <laughs> open and we'll get back to sailing so this season we it may be slightly different, but we hope to be sailing Western France, the French islands, Brittany, the Channel Islands, back to the UK and our final season in Ruby Rose. So listen, thank you so much for watching this one. We'll be back really soon. In the meantime, we've got podcasts that are coming out weekly. So tune into our podcast. Yeah, the link for that is down below. And we're also doing lots of live chats as well. Yeah, yep. Yep. we've got our Thailand episodes. We filmed yes. in October. Yes. We've got lots of stuff. And not to, admit, not to forget, we've got the top 10 catarans coming out really, really soon. So we've got lots of really cool cool stuff coming out over the coming weeks. Anyway, stay tuned and thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.